for years, you guys have asked Antonio, what is your everyday carry? And I've resisted this question because I felt my everyday carry was pretty darn boring and I changed it up quite a bit. But over the last six months traveling the world, I found that there were items I carried with me all the time. So finally, I'm going to be able to put this video out, gentlemen, in today's video, my everyday carry. So the first item on my everyday carry is about two to $500 in cash. And I've usually got a mix of bills and it depends on what country I'm traveling through as to how much cash I'm going to carry. But understand outside the United States, outside of Canada, outside of Australia, a lot of countries, they depend on cash. They, everything is done in cash. In fact, you try to use cards, it's going to be very difficult. So another thing I want to talk about with the cash I carry, I always make sure I have unmarked new bills that are crisp and clean with no tears because I can tell you I've still got this hundred dollar bill which I don't know how it made it out of the country with me but I could not get anyone in Thailand or Ukraine to actually exchange this for me for some reason this was toxic now I'm back here in the US I'll just walk into a bank and I'll get a nice crisp clean new one but I always make sure depending on what country I'm going to I've got cash because cash is king next up on my everyday carry three credit cards two business one personal, they're all chip cards. Now, one thing about chip cards, you need to be careful about those RFID readers. I can tell you the wallet that I use has an RFID shield that protects me so that no one can actually hijack my information. Item number three on my everyday carry, two forms of identification. If I'm outside the country, I'll take my passport and my driver's license. Inside the United States, I'm actually going to have my driver's license along with a military ID. Now, this isn't the normal military ID. This is actually my veteran, uh, was my VA card. But what's interesting about this, anyone that is eligible for one should get one because you can actually get discounts at hotels. Any place that gives a military discount, you just flash your VA card and boom, you get a big discount. So I use it quite a bit. Item number four on my everyday carry is the watch that I wore around the world for the last six months. That is made by Vincero. This is their Chrono S. I've talked about this watch before. This watch, you know, I love. Why? I've got some pretty good stories. It's functional. It actually serves the purpose of keeping time consistently, despite the fact I actually, it ended up in the washing machine twice and it survived. It made it through. But also, this is simply, it's a great looking watch at an affordable price. Guys, Vincero is the paid sponsor of this video, but I am happy to have them as a sponsor because watch enthusiasts, founded this company. They're like, let's get the best watch out there at an affordable price. Something when people see it, they're going to say, wow, that looks like it costs 10 times more than what it actually did. Gentlemen, as you're going through the website, make sure to check out their specs. 316L surgical grade stainless steel, the sapphire coated mineral crystal glass. Basically, it's scratch resistant. Look at the leather band. That's genuine Italian leather. It's about 22 millimeters wide. Also, the dimensions of the casing, it's 43 millimeters in diameter. Thickness, about 10.5 millimeters. They've got worldwide shipping for free. Gentlemen, as you can tell, I love Vincero. They're a great sponsor and a great company whose product I love. I'm going to link to them down in the description. There's also going to be a discount code down there. Use that link to get the best deal. All right, guys, let's get on to the next point. Item number five on my everyday carry is my simple iPhone 5C. I know it's an older iPhone. I'm not necessarily up to date. I use this as a work tool. And so let's talk about the apps that are on this phone. I have Evernote. I have the RMRS app. If you haven't grabbed that, you better. Uh, I have Receipt Bank. I have Audible. I have Personal Capital. Facebook, which I use for business, I promise. I mostly use for business. I have Expedia. I have Skype. I have Uber. And that's about it. Now, I also take a charging cable and I usually have a battery that I traveled with me. I also take a pair of headphones. Like I mentioned, I have Audible. I also, I listen to podcasts on my iPhone. Guys, never waste a dead moment. So if you can be listening and educating yourself, listening to audiobooks or great podcasts, make sure you're doing that. Next up on my everyday carry, a simple ballpoint pen. I want something that's retractable, something that if I lose it, I'm not going to go crying about, something that my daughter can take, which she often does, and she likes to draw with these. Now, I do like these Uniballs, and they're beautiful pens. I started using them when I was in the, the Marine Corps. I love them, but here's the problem with these, is that these can break, these can leak, so I want to go with something that's going to be, I think, more durable, and again, if I lose it, I'm not upset. Two more items on my everyday carry, 
small packages of wet wipes. Very useful when you have kids with sticky hands and tissues for all other messes. I've got a daughter, she gets bloody noses. My son and I both have allergies and we sneeze quite a bit. So very useful right here. So you may have noticed in my everyday carry, I wasn't carrying any knives or any type of weapons. Well, I'm going in and out of airports. I'm in countries which they don't encourage you to carry weapons with you. So this was kind of frowned upon, but sometimes you do need a tool to be able to solve some quick problems. So what was the tool that I chose to take with me? One that could get through airport security, have no issue. Guys, a heavy duty paperclip. Yes, I'm serious. This is actually what I took with me and I can tell you multiple situations. So as it is, this is a great stabbing tool. You've got a plastic, you've got, I remember we had some meat that my daughter really wanted. It was in this plastic container. I was able to pierce it, use it almost as a knife. Whenever we were going in and out of different countries, needing to get our SIM cards taken out, boom right there, be able to pull it out. So how did I carry my everyday carry? How did I bring it all together? Okay, so if I'm inside the United States, oftentimes I'm with my vehicle so I can take things out of my pocket, put them to the side, and I simply would take an RFID blocking wallet, oftentimes a front pocket wallet that I can carry in my front pocket, just less likely to get physically pickpocketed, and the RFID protection actually protects my credit cards from RFID readers. Outside the United States though, I'm often carrying multiple passports. Not just one passport, but six passports. I've got a big family. Plus everything I talked about, you gotta multiply times two or three, especially the wet wipes. So how do I carry it all? Well, I had a very small and masculine looking satchel that I took with me and uh, this thing was awesome. If you have never tried, I know a lot of you guys consider these purses or their man bags, whatever you wanna call them, definitely find one that works for you if you're gonna be traveling, especially with a family. It's nice to have one bag that is just a go-to where everything is at. So guys, that is my everyday carry. Hopefully you found that interesting. Now it's your turn. I wanna hear from you down in the comments. Not only which watch would you like from the sponsor of this video, Vincero, which I've got some extras and I would love to send your way, but also, let me know, what did I miss on the everyday carry? What would you have added to this list? What would have made it more complete? I love hearing from you guys, love learning from you, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long time coming. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.